Hello Dementors, in this video I'm going to show you how we can create tanker and car war game using MIT Apple Mentor. So let me show you the demo of this game first, then we will create this game step by step. So that's our game here, so just click on that start button, that's our first screen. So click on that start button, as you can see we have 5 cars and we have to fight, so we just need to click on the tanker to kill that car like this. And as you can see in the bottom we have 20 score, then the 30 score. So as you can see the game is over now so that's the last screen so you can restart that game again okay so we will create this game step by step so let me show you how we can do this so open the mit implementer and click on start new project and my project name is car war game and okay so that's our first screen here so we need to design that uh, game and then we will code for this so first of all we need to use here one layout in the left side you will find the layout option and as you can see the vertical arrangement so drag and drop that arrangement and make this one width and height is fill parent like this now we need to use your canvas so in the left side you will find the drawing and animation option click on this and just drag and drop that canvas here and make sure that the height and the width is fill parent like this cool so that's our game screen okay now in the left side you'll find layout again and you'll find the horizontal arrangement this one so drag and drop that one here and make this as a fill parent and make this height is 7%. So that's our horizontal arrangement. Now we need to design. So what I will do, I will change that background color of canvas. So click on canvas and in the right side you'll see the background image. Click on that, click on upload file, click on choose file. So I will give you that all assets, okay, in the description. So I will choose this uh, background, okay. So let me just try that background and okay. Oh, cool so it's look pretty cool now what i will do i will use one image split so in the left side you find drawing animation click on the image split and drag and drop it here now just uh, use your one image so what i will do click on image split and make this height and width is 50 50 pixel 50 pixel and the width is also 50 pixel like this and now click on picture option click on upload file click on choose file i have some car image so car one dot png and then okay Cool. so this one is 50 by 50 so I will just copy and paste this so copy paste copy paste and try it for five times so two car I have a third one now I will change all these car images so first second I will make that uh, is another one so go to the upload file click on choose file and let's change all these cars so car two make it so as you can see we have five cars so i'm going to use here one tanker so copy and paste this image split and drag and drop it here and change click on picture click on upload file click on choose file and you will get the tanker image so tank.png open this and click on ok so that is our own tanker okay so now we have to fight with this tanker and we have five uh, enemies five car now this is fine now we need to click on user interface in the left side and drag and drop two buttons here one okay and just use one button remove the text from that button okay and make this with this at least 30 percent like this okay and change that background color to the none like this okay now use same thing just copy and paste and we have button two okay and now what i will do just use one label click on this label and drag and drop this between both button and change that text to zero and make this at least 20 or 25 or 27 something because we have to display a score here and click on horizontal arrangement this is fill parent make sure you can make that uh, button win is also the fill parent with this uh, like this fill parent and button 2 is also now we need to use your ball as a bullet so in the left side you'll find the drawing animation click on ball and just drag and drop it here and make this one here and change that radius to the 10 like this or you can make it 7 okay like this and change that point color paint color to the red or something okay like this or you can change this to the yellow like this okay now we need to make sure this should be the visible is off like this now we have completed our design part okay now we need your two sensors in the left side you'll find the sensor option and drag and drop here to clock one and two cool that's your main screen okay 
now we need to use here two more layout for the start screen and the end screen it means game over layout so what i will do just make sure hide this one uh, vertical arrangement or i can rename that so i just say the ly main layout okay or main main layout like this now just visual off and now drag click on layout and just drag and drop your one vertical arrangement one more and make this width and height is fill parent like this or you can use one button here like this and make this in a center like this and you can change that background color of vertical arrangement so click on image click on upload file click on choose file and i have game uh, start game design so i think this one let's try this thumb image and click on that text button and you just say the start game like this you can change that background color something or you can make it none and make this text color to white and make this font size 25 something like this okay cool so that's our first screen now just hide this one okay and now we need to use just copy that vertical arrangement one okay or you can rename that so i just rename to the ly and the game start okay layout game start and i will just copy paste this one whole okay so this one ly start game two so i will rename that ly game over and then just okay cool and click on that enable this one now that's the game over so i just say the game it's start game again like this or i will use your one label to it say the game is over the game over like this and you can change that to 30 something text and you can change that text color to the right like this okay game over and you can start the game again now let's hide this one okay enable this one uh this is a start game and this is their main screen now what i will do let's focus on the uh first is whenever someone click on that start game button okay it means which game this uh this is the game layout this is the game start so it means whenever someone click on the button three so we need to enable that layout okay we need to enable main layout and we need to hide the current layout so go to the block so whenever someone click on button three so we need to hide game start okay so make sure this one is visible off like this is false and another layout is main layout L Y the main layout should be true like this cool so that we have started a game now let's hide this okay and let's open the main layout enable this now let's code so what first we will code is like whenever we open our game so our car is moving to the uh, to the this uh, direction okay and to the tank direction so how we can move our car first so we will use your clock this one clock one so go to the block whenever the clock one tick okay like this so we have to move our cars so we have to move our image split one uh, sorry image split one two three four five okay so click on image split and you will see the set image split dot y okay this one let me just show you go to the design as you can see if i just click on that white car and as you can see the x value is 152 the y value is 83 when i move this car to the downside and as you can see the y value is 170 now it means we have to increase our y value okay so what i will do go to the block section go to the maps and as, it's, as you can see here plus click on this click on image split one and we need to get the current y value so image split dot y and then click on maths and click on the numeric value and just add this value up to five so whenever we the clock is run so this will increase by five okay so what i will do i will change that clock time okay the so clock one time to the hundred it means this will run 10 times in one second so go to the block this one now we just need to copy and paste this okay so first like five so second car third car fourth car and the fifth car and we need to change the image split two and the three and the four four and the five like this now 
we need to just change this one also to the 2 to the 3 to the 4 and to the 5 like this that's the first part now in the another part what we will do whenever someone click on that uh, uh, tanker so we need to use here one uh, we need to move our ball to the uh, to direction of that cars okay so what i will do go to this block whenever someone click on image split 6 so as you can see there are option of whenever we touch down or you can see the touched whenever we image split touch then first we will enable we will visual enable that wall so visual this one and make sure this one is true like this and then we have to move that ball so click on ball and as you can see the move option this one move so the x value is going to be image spread image spread 6 dot x this one okay we will we will move this into the same uh, okay so like 6 is the y like this okay so now this is enabled this is moving okay now i will set that as a speed so click on ball so how, how this will move so we need to set that ball speed so here you will find the option of ball one dot speed so you can just set this one as a five or something like this okay so let me just try this how it's working or not till now go to the emulator just run this here refresh that it is clean and whenever you open our app so let's see see the car is moving like this that we want okay now what we need to do we need to move okay so click on that uh, uh, that tanker okay click on this and as you can see the this ball is moving but this ball is moving in the left side okay in the right side so how we can move in the upside so it's simple go to the block section so what i will do i will remove delete that image speed dot y value click on maths and set this y value as a zero okay now let's refresh this and let's see how it's work let's click on that uh, tanker touch the tanker okay this one is moving but the problem is uh, we have we have just said that the move to the that position okay so what we need to do here we need to call it the point to direction not just move okay so click on call, uh, ball and as if we will find the option is point direction this one we need to call this method so the x value is this and the y value is zero and just delete this now let's see and let's see now just click on that tanker and see this one is moving cool now what we need to we need to move our tanker also whenever i click on that button so as you can see we have hide our button but still there is a one button so whenever we click on this button so we have to move it left and like this is right to the design and click on that here and see the button one so whenever someone click on button one so go to the here and whenever someone click on button one so we need to we need to change the tanker one image one is spread value and the value is x value we have to change click on image spread one set that value here go to the design and as you can see the x value is right now 120 if i move this tanker here the x value is 39 it means if i want to move that tanker in the left side so we have to decrease the value okay so that's why i will use the minus this one so i need to get the current value okay so image split one dot image split one dot x make sure this one is image split one or not no this is the six okay so go to the block make sure you have to change this to the six and this is the six and the I minus value will be the five or ten okay something like this five like this just copy and paste this okay like this and change this to the button 2 and the x value should be increased so click on math and you will find a plus icon drag and drop it here and like this so now that we have completed now what we need to do whenever the whenever our ball okay so whenever our ball touch any car okay so we need to move that car in the top and we need to hide that ball and we need to move that ball again to that tanker okay so go to the block here and we need to code when when the ball okay 
so click on the ball and you'll find the, the when the ball collide with other okay so let's code for it let me just hide this like this like this so when the ball collide with other so we will use your condition click on control and see the if if the ball okay so if the ball is equal the get other is equal to the image is split two or three okay so like uh, just click on that uh, click on that variable option sorry click on that click on the math option and the equal and the equal get the other and this should be equal to the image split 2 because image split 1 is our tanker right so if the image split 2 this one if the component the ball collide with image split 2 then we need to move our image split 2 so click on image split 2 and you'll get the option of move this one and the y value i will make that y value to the zero okay like this but the x value i will use is a random value so click on that math and you will find the random module like this one random teaser and this should be from 40 to the 100 like this or you can make it 200 like this okay now we need to call here two processors this call uh, this image will move but we have to move our ball also okay so what i will do i will create one processor so click on processor and this one call and in that processor i just say the ball okay now in that processor what i will do i will use we need to set our ball okay so click on that ball we need to set our ball as a visible off so whenever the ball collide with any image split so we need to make this false visible false and we need to make that ball speed set one ball dot speed should be zero okay this should be zero like this and in the last we need to use here we need to move that ball in the tanker position so click on that ball and as you can see the ball dot move to the tanker tanker which is image split six or one code i'm sorry i'm confused okay image split 6 this one so go to the block if the image is split 1 image split 6 so click on image split 6 this one and then this image split 6 dot x value and image split 6 dot y value like this okay like this so make sure this should be 1 okay and this should be also 1 image split 1 like this now we need to call this processor okay here so click on the ball and then call this processor here go to the processor call this ball here like this okay now one more thing one more processor we will uh, add here this one is a score okay so click on that processor again and create one processor and that processor name is called a score like this whenever the ball touch the image is split so we will increase the score so go to the design as you can see that's the label and label name is label one so go to the block click on that level one and set that level one is score okay level one is score should be increased by 10 so click on plus we just need to get the current level one dot text value so level one dot text get the current value like this and we need to add that uh, that plus 10 point so i will just use your math and i will add 10 points like this and i will call a, that procedure here a score like this so that's first part is complete it means whenever the ball collide with any image spread sorry image spread one then the image spread move to the top okay and that this procedure will call it means ball the ball move to the uh, origin okay and the visible will off and the speed is zero and the score will increase by 10 value now same thing we have to do else if if as if we have to use it a four time else if like this and the same condition is something like if the okay if the other is equal to image split 2 the same thing we have to do is like image split 2 dot move and then again we need to call ball uh, processor and the score processor and same thing we have to do again and again now that's done now score is increasing here the ball uh, the car is moving here 
is fine. Now let's see how it's working or not and what's the mistake we have done. Let's see. This car is moving. Let's fire. Okay. The uh, ball is uh, like ball speed is really very slow. So what I will do, go to the block section and as you can see the ball we already have set one uh, ball speed. Okay. Here this one. So what I will do, oh no, this is not this one. We have set that value in initial. So whenever we click on the image spread, so we have to move that ball. So as you can see, this one, ball speed 20. So I will make it 30, like this. Okay. Now uh, let's go to the design and let's play this again and let's see how it's work. Okay, it's right, fine. So whenever the ball that car touch the edge then we will make our game over or what we can do whenever the ball uh, whenever the this car okay car y value is greater than 258 as you can see the 258 this one or you can make it 300 because i will move that uh, tanker in the uh, like here okay like so whenever the image speed 2 value is greater than uh, 300 then i will make that game over so go to the block so whenever so I will use here one more timer as you can see this one too and this will check again like uh, if the if any image split is uh, is the value is greater than the y value is greater than 300 then we will make that our game is over. Use your condition again if else so control and use that and you see that this one and just use your if greater than and this one is greater than print one dot y okay the y is greater than 300 so go to the maths and you get the 300 value from here like this then i will call one process because we have to do a lot of things while the game will over so what i will do here i will create one processor and that name i will uh, call this game over game over okay now in that game over whenever the ball whenever the any image is created, is a, a y value is greater than 300 then i will make that layout game over will be visible on okay like this and this should be true and the main screen should be the false like this okay game uh, main screen will be the false and the car the all car okay the all car will move to the horizon it means like uh, we can say we can disable the timer okay here first we need to disable the timer is the clock one timer should be disabled is like uh, the timer is like enabled is false okay like this and we have to move our all car in the uh, in the top so image spread one and you'll find the move this one here and i will move that the x and the y position in the origin so like if sorry go to the maths here and get the x value i will make this one 40 or 50 around and the y value is zero like this but we have to do it for all our images okay so let's do it for two three four and five okay so let's just two three four and the five and we will change that value is like x is 40 so i will like make it 70 and the 90 and the 200 and 150 something like that or 159 like this now this is cool okay now what we need to do we need to set our we need to reset our score also okay so what i will do in the reset score set level okay set level one dot tax should be zero tax will be zero or uh, like this will be zero here go to the math and this one but before we will make the zero we have to display that score in our uh, in our layout okay so what i will do here i will go to the design part and uh, i will make that main hide is visible off game over screen is visible on and i will use here one more label and i'll just say the score here so and the score value is like uh, 50 something if the score is zero here and make this white like this 
so i will set my score before i will reset my score so i will set here a score okay so game over the screen this one so it means this is the level three so go to the block and i will set okay so i will set that set label three dot text is label one dot text this one and then i will reset that score cool this is fine now this is cool now this is game over so i will call that processor okay that processor game over processor i will call if the image spread y is value is greater than 300 this processor okay the same thing i have to do again and again for the all okay so what i will do i just use the if the y is greater than 300 then this one otherwise uh, or you can do one more thing here if you can again use four uh, four and five if, like this like this okay and then just change that the image split two and the three and the four and the last is five like this okay cool and we will uh, we all call this game over uh, processor here let's see how it's work uh, let's see oh one more thing we need to do whenever someone click on that this is the game over screen right so whenever the game over screen so whenever someone click on button four so we need to hide or layout so this one code is going to be here like this the key button four okay so what i will do i will hide that the game main layout okay visible off sorry visible on this should be the on because we are restarting our game so make sure this is two and the game over screen will be off it means this layout game over will be false like this let's see let's try this one is working fine yeah one more thing we have to do there are a lot of thing to do yeah one more thing only i think last go to the design we need to enable the timer so click on clock make sure this is should be disabled go to the block and uh, this one is game over so make it visible off make sure game start is on and whenever we click on that button then we will enable that timer okay so whenever the we click on that button game start button this one okay then okay we have done that code something here yes we have done this one so whenever we start uh, when we, we click on the button three then the clock one dot should be enabled this one is should be enable is true like this let's see go to the design section let's click on connect and refresh this campaign and let's see how it's work click on start game okay car is moving oh there's something wrong let's go to the refresh this okay what i need to go to the block section sorry go to the design section like game is off game uh, main screen is visible on this car should be here and my tanker will be uh, at least 370 like this okay now let me just make it visible off game start should be on like this so that's the screen click on a start game and the game will start let's fight the score is 10 i will make that one more score okay oh, sorry 10 game over click on start game again Okay, but the problem is uh, I'm not able. Uh, this car is not running. So what do we need to do? We need to enable. Whenever we click on that uh, start restart game, so we need to enable that uh, clock. So where is my restart game button? The restart game button name is uh, game layout, game main, game over, and it means button four. So go to the block. This one here. Okay. So what I will do in that button four. I need to enable that timer clock one should be enabled true okay this one should be true like this whenever the ball touch okay so or whenever the ball reach the edge okay so we need to set here so click on that ball okay if we will miss the ball then we have to set our ball so you will see the ball option here where is a ball in the main screen and this ball whenever the ball each reached this one then we need to call again it's like we need to move that ball move that ball in the same like uh, in the tanker image six is a spread is a tanker so in the x position and the y position 
here or you can make procedure to call that okay and we need to just hide this wall this one off like this this will fall and set that speed is zero speed going to be speed is uh, going to be zero like this maths and zero like this okay now let's run this let's see how it's working start game we can fight okay oh start game again let's fight no no let's move that oh only 10 start game over so this we can uh, play this game we can improve a lot of things here but yeah as you can see the game uh, the value is 20 it means we have to reset that value but i'm not sure why this value is not reset so what i can do i can do one more thing here i can set that uh, score value go to the design and uh, the label is the one set label one that should be zero like this here so that's the overall game let me know if you need any help on that i will give you that code link in the description you can download the aia file and you can use this game so thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe my channel